Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 30th episode of Thursday Night Thunder. The pit party has been a huge success. Fans come out from all over checking out the trucks, getting autographs, and buying some merchandise. The fans are ready to see the closeout of the December season and the year 2020. Now, 16 of your favorite monster trucks are set to go racing here in just a few minutes. Be sure to check out the merchandise stands, get all your souvenirs, and get ready to watch 16 of the baddest monster trucks turn it loose here tonight. Now, check out the track. The jump's a little steeper tonight, a no man's land is a little bit longer, and there's also a catch, a nasty mud pit at the end of the track. Here's a current look at your point standings. El Toro Loco leads with 58 points, and Barefoot holds the gate closed with 20. We're gonna jump right into round number one. As we get set to close out the December season, we are here in week number five. First up is Whiplash taking on Avenger. Both trucks have ran strong all December season long, but only one can make it on to round number two here to close out week number five. Whiplash Avenger as we go green. Down the straight, they're looking pretty even up and over the cars, and Whiplash takes it down to the wall. They move on to round number two. Well, up next, your current points leader, Joshua Wells in the El Toro Loco machine draws up against the Samson Chevrolet. Now, El Toro Loco has been a storyline all December season long, some highs and lows, but has been the most consistent truck out here. Here we go now, both trucks down the straight, up and over the cars, and El Toro Loco sticks it in the mud, sticking it on the nose, and look at the impact right there. It hung up in the mud so bad it stuck on the nose. What a ride for the El Toro Loco machine. They will be knocked out here in round number one, as the MTA officials are down there, they're gonna pull him up and out of the mud now. But what a ride for the El Toro Loco machine. And there you see the mud just dripping off of that truck. If he ain't winning out here, he's definitely putting on a show, El Toro Loco. Now up next, the Carolina Crusher Chevrolet out of Waysboro, North Carolina, draws up against the big bad Ford out of Pacific, Missouri, Bigfoot. Chevrolet and Ford, ladies and gentlemen, about to throw it down here in round number one. Both truck stage as we go green. Down the straight now, Bigfoot has a slight lead up and over, and Bigfoot turns it over. He pogos it on the rear. We're gonna take an instant replay look right here. He had the lead over Carolina Crusher. You see him hit the jump. The jump's a little steeper than normal, and he pogos it on the rear, end over end, in the mud hole, and Bigfoot will come out on top. Unfortunately, upside down in the mud. Now, the MTA track crew is down here now. They're gonna roll the big blue Ford back on all four tires. You see Carolina Crusher got in the mud too and they're flipping Bigfoot back over, and what a ride for the Ford out of Pacific, Missouri. Well, coming up next here in round number one, Bounty Hunter set to take on your four-time Thursday Night Thunder champion, Max D. Now, Bounty Hunter hasn't taken the checker flag here tonight. He's mainly out here just for the points. Max D trying to take home that checker flag here tonight. Boat truck stage as we go green. Bounty Hunter has a lead on him up and over the cars, and Max D almost takes it to the backstage area. Backing that truck up, Max D moves on. Well, up next, Black Stallion out of Hagerstown, Maryland, draws up against the Team Bigfoot truck, Wildfoot, out of Pacific, Missouri. Two fours about to throw it down here in round number one. Only one can move on to round number two. Boat truck stage now as we get set to go green. Down the straight, Black Stallion has a lead on him up and over the cars. Stallion gets in the mud, but it's just enough to outrun the Wildfoot. Black Stallion moves on to round number two. Well, moving on with round number one, we've got Flying Ryan Paget and the son of a digger machine drawn up against the big red Dodge out of Pontoon Beach, Illinois, barefoot. Boat truck staged at the starting line. For the last time in the December season, who moves on to round number two? Barefoot, son of a digger as we go green. Boat trucks are looking even up and over the cars and son of a digger turns it over in the mud. Barefoot takes it down to the wall. Son of a digger loses it in no man's land, crossed up and turned it over in the mud. You see the MTA official down here now. They're flipping son of a digger back over. And look at the yuck he is in right there, ladies and gentlemen. And the mud just dripping off of that truck. What a ride for son of a digger. Well, up next, Zombie set to take on the American Guardian Chevrolet. Both of these trucks have won in the December season here this month. Can they do it again here tonight to close out week number five in the 2020 December season? American Guardian Zombie as we go green. American Guardian has a lead on him up and over the cars and Zombie comes back on him in the shutdown area. Zombie will take it to round number two. Well now to close out round number one, the Rampage Dodge draws up against Jester. Now you can see right here, the Rampage Dodge does not have a front clip on the truck. That's because at the Legends show this weekend, he couldn't get the truck shut down and hit the wall. 
The truck's running 100% here tonight as we go green. Rampage pulling on him up and under the cars, and Rampage takes it down to the wall, and that bad fast Rampage Dodge moves on to round number two. Jester's on the trailer. Well now, before we go on to round number two, we're taking you down to the MTA pits. The driver of Max D, Bradley Graham, your four-time champion, got in touch with MTA officials and said, hey, what about building a brand new truck for the 2021 season? The MTA officials agreed to it. It's gonna be a front engine design, so maximum destruction is gonna be a bad force in 2021. Well, coming up here in round number two, Whiplash returns, taking on the Samson Chevrolet. Boat trucks look good in round number one. Whiplash has been a consistent truck all December season long. Samson's been working on some highs and lows. Who moves on to the semifinals as we get set to go green? Down the straight, they're looking even up and over the cars, and Whiplash getting it hung up in the mud. But Samson doesn't come across that second set of cars, and you see it right here in a photo finish. Whiplash has it by a nose and moves on to the semifinals. Well, up next here in round number two, Bigfoot set to take on Max D. This ought to be a barn burner here tonight in round number two. Bigfoot rolled it over in round number one. Mud all over that truck as you see. But Max D tried to take it to the backstage area. Boat truck stage now as we go green. Bigfoot pulling on Max D up and over the cars. And Max D passes him in the shutdown area. He moves on to the semifinals. Well, up next here in round number two, the Ford and Black Stallion out of Hagerstown, Maryland, draws up against the Dodge and Barefoot out of Pontoon Beach, Illinois. Ford and Dodge staged at the starting line. Who moves on to the semifinals as we go green? Down the straight, Black Stallion has a slight lead up and over the cars, and Barefoot turns it over. He just barely turned it over. Got crossed up right there in no man's land, rocked up and rolled over. The Black Stallion Ford does move on. You see it right here. Caught that first ramp right there and just turned the Barefoot Dodge upside down. Black Stallion will move on. Now the MTA officials are down here now. They're going to turn the Big Red Dodge back over. He'll be on the trailer for the night. But what a ride for the Barefoot team. And there you see the mud on the truck dripping off. Barefoot's out of competition tonight. Well now, not to talk short of Barefoot, here's his teammate Rampage in that big red Dodge set to take on Zombie. Now Rampage currently holds that checker flag. Zombie claimed it in week number one of the December season. Can he get it back here tonight? Zombie Rampage as we go green. Down the straight up and over the cars. And it's close down there in the shutdown area. Zombie gets hung up in the mud. Rampage moves on. Well, now to jump right into the semifinals, ladies and gentlemen. We started with 16. We are now down to four. Max D set to take on Whiplash. Max D, Bradley Graham looking for his fifth championship here tonight. Whiplash looking to knock him off his pedestal. Can she do it here tonight? Max D, Whiplash as we get set to go green. Down the straight now. Whiplash having a lead on him up and over the cars. And Whiplash gets it down to the wall. Moving on to the finals. Well, now to close out the semifinal matchup, the Big Red Dodge and Rampage draws up against that bad fast Black Stallion Ford out of Hagerstown, Maryland. Now, Ford and Dodge about to throw it down here in the semifinals. Who meets Whiplash in the finals here on Thursday Night Thunder? Low trucks now as we go green, they're looking even up and over the cars. Rampage loses his flag and takes it down to the shutdown area. Rampage will meet Whiplash in the finals. Well, before we get to the finals here on Thursday Night Thunder, we're gonna take you down to the pits. You see a lot of the trucks tiring down, getting their stuff loaded up. They are headed home to close out the 2020 season and get ready for the 2021 season. We've appreciated everybody that's come out to watch these races, give us the great feedback. I love putting on this show for you guys. Hopefully 2021 will get things back on track and get back to some real monster truck action. Thank you for letting me come to your house, into your TV, and put on a show for you guys each and every week for the last 30 weeks. Let's get right down to business and jump into the finals here on Thursday Night Thunder to close out episode 30. Megan Jagger and Whiplash set to take on David Snyder in the Rampage Dodge. Both trucks are staged at the starting line. Rampage wants to take that checker flag home for the second week in a row. Whiplash would love to get that flag back for herself. Who knows what's going to happen here? Only one can go home champion to close out the 2020 season. Ladies and gentlemen, Rampage, Whiplash, it's showtime. Down the straight, they're looking even up and over the cars. Whiplash pogos it, gets it down to the shutdown area, and Whiplash will be your week five checker flag holder here on Thursday Night Thunder. What a ride for boat trucks, as you just saw. We're going to go back and take an instant replay. You see the air by Whiplash pogos it on the rear end. Gets her mess under control. Rampage gets fumbled up over there in the other lane. 
but Whiplash gets it down to the wall. Congratulations to Megan Jager and Whiplash for winning the 30th episode of Thursday Night Thunder. Now, before we close out the show, here's a current look at your point standings. El Toro Loco is your overall points champion with 63 points. Rampage followed up with 58. But congratulations to Joshua Wells and El Toro Loco for being your December season overall points champion. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name, yeah. Everybody saw me rock the place, now there's flash bulbs are popping and mics in my face. my face. Always giving the crowd what they need, now they're wearing my shirts front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms, it's what it's all about, signing all the raps until the lights out, yeah. Thank you guys for watching the 30th episode of Thursday Night Thunder. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out our other videos linked right here on our channel. And as always, leave this video with a like and make sure you crush that subscribe button and I'll catch you down the road. See you next year!